Everyone's favorite dystopian movie series is back again with the spin-off after a decade, and it's about to blow your head right off. Who's ready to see the 13th District fight wreaking havoc on the capital once again? How many poor souls will succumb to death this time in the bloodthirsty rundown arenas? Here are all the exciting details about the brand new Hunger Games sequel, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Suzanne Collins isn't bringing the boring old death rose to your screen this time. She's about to spice things up in the new spin-off as it will take us back to the good old times when President Snow was still lively and youthful before all hell broke loose. The trailer for the spin-off was dropped without any preliminary marketing about a couple months ago. Now that's a sick move. The trailer kicked off with a room full of people being addressed by Gull, the mastermind behind the entire game itself. Viola perfectly fits into the role of the evil game master who's probably going to be the main villain in the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. The camera cuts off to Casca, who is explaining the altered rule of the game, which is to transform the tributes into spectacles instead of survivors. Jeez, we've only made it to the first few seconds and things have already taken a pretty dark turn. By throwing the story back to the 10th Hunger Games 65 years from the present time, Suzanne Collins sure has played a terrific card. This time around, we are going knees deep into the villainous mind of President Snow. It's quite possible we might even get to see flashes from his past and the reason behind him becoming the ruthless tyrant he is known for. Snow becoming Lucy's tribute caught us all off guard now, didn't it? Lucy, that charming character who brings life into the show through her singing and dancing skills. This dynamic duo has the potential of demolishing the Hunger Games once and for all. Do you think that's a possibility? Let us know in the comments down below. A good part of the trailer shows Lucy being skeptical of Snow's persistent attempts of getting her into the blood-soaked arena. She doesn't seem confident enough to take up the challenges waiting for her in the arena and is seen constantly doubting her mentor skills. It will be an absolute treat to watch the two come together for the sole purpose of winning the games by putting their differences aside. The new spin-off sure is about to have a treat for sore eyes. Let's get to the spine-chilling parts of the trailer. There's a bunch of ways the tributes might end up getting shredded to bits in the arena this time, and none of them are light on the heart. It's already dark enough to see mere children fight tooth and nail for advancing to higher levels in the game, but this new spin-off is about to shake things up a little. Treating the tributes as some sort of gods before pushing them up against each other is quite messed up. Going back 65 years in time also means witnessing the captable ascent after the first revolution. Tribute sets always have been treated as otherworldly creatures in the Hunter Games saga, but that wasn't always the case. Back in the olden times, the tributes were treated like absolute garbage and were denied their rights to food, clothes, and basic hygiene. Where Katniss and Peta were seen getting the princess treatment, the earlier tributes were thrown into slaughterhouses and zoo laden with animal piss. The days leading up to the game were a nightmare for them as most of them starved to death waiting to be let out their cages. Participating in the games wasn't always a walk in the park for the tributes, and Suzanne taking her sweet time to explain this in the new spinoff is something we're all desperately looking forward to. The Pandem we witnessed up until now has been all through Katniss' eyes. Her rebellion and the state of Pandem all through it is what we know to be the devastated country. But how were things conducted in the past? They say every country has a history, and Pandem is no exception. Watching things unfold in the characteristic dark and twisted ways the Hunger Games is known for is what's going to make the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes the most anticipated movie ever. There's a high chance we might get to see the beginning of the games when the first war struck between the capital and the district. How did the game makers come with the brutal ideas we see so flawlessly being depicted in the original series? And how does Panem look like through the young President Snow's eyes? These are the questions that have been perplexing every Hunger Games junkie's mind for the past 10 years. The fact that we might finally have an answer and the full lore behind the brutal games is quite exhilarating, don't you think? And with that, we have reached the end of today's video. Make sure you catch us in the next one. Until then, goodbye.